Hey guys, Cody Schwab here, Gunslinger Dust. I don't care if you think I'm ugly. I actually just solved how to remove the hum or the ground loop noise or whatever you want to call it from your laptop when recording because I record tons of games. I record both Xbox, PC, whatever. And uh, a common problem that I have is the hum that comes out of my laptop. Now, a lot of people don't deal with this, but some of them do. And the problem is actually the laptop itself. So let me show you um, the issue and then how I solved it, okay? So now you can see I use voice meter. There might be some feedback, but you can see right here that the um, this little thing right here is the feedback. And I tried to get it to come out the, the speakers. It doesn't want to come out the speakers. Um, you might be able to hear it uh, if I can put it into here. You probably can't though. Um, anyway, but the speaker was up to it. So what that what uh, this is right here is actually that's the feedback. So that is the feedback coming through. Um, and then let me show you the the reason that it does that. Now, for me, the reason is because of the power cord. You can see that I unplugged the power cord, goes away instantly. In fact, let me just uh, prove it. Just tap on the mic. And yeah, so, you know, it goes away. So it's actually this, you know, it's actually this right here. It's because my power cord does not have a ground. And um, so... You know, the issue is that this particular laptop, it's, this one is a Toshiba. And, you know, if you have a laptop that does not have a grounded plug, well, that could be the issue for you. Uh, it may be something else for other people, whatever. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and they say to, you know, to take like a, a piece of wire or something, you know, like this is like an old piece of wire right here. Um, and you can like plug it into your laptop and then you wrap the you know the wire around like a screw or a table or something yeah that none of that stuff worked for me um, so what I did was very simple now I'm going to show you what it is you'll notice my stuff is kind of messy because you know my table isn't very big but here is what I did so let's go ahead and plug the power cord back in real quick just to prove that it is um, the power cord so plug that in I have an old house so uh, there it is right came right back okay so here is what I did this uh, <clears throat> let's see this cord right here is one of these cords that um, goes from an audio jack to RCA you can get these really cheap at Walmart uh, Radio Shack anywhere you want, right? And so I just plug this in to the audio port, and uh, yeah, so that comes back right here. Now I had to connect it to a couple of other ones because uh, it wasn't very long. But then I took that and I just used these little connectors again that you can get at like Fry's Electronics, Best Buy, whatever you have. Um, and then again, one more set because it was really short. Then what I did was I went and I plugged it in to the back of my wife's computer. Um, now, because this computer is ground, uh, it actually acts as a ground for, you know, the, f the feedback coming in my computer. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not telling you to do this because I don't know for sure you know, if it can damage your laptop. I don't think it can, but again, I'm not like an electric engineer or anything. However, you'll notice that with the cord plugged in, the feedback's gone. It, it quiets out. I'll even tap the mic. Boom, gone. And then as soon as I take this out, it's back. on so that is it guys that is how i saw my feedback so again this is a uh it's an audio cord 
that goes to RCA. Um, it's usually for like stereos and stuff. So, you know, maybe Best Buy or Walmart, you can get them. Um, and then these are little connectors. You can get them really cheap from any audio video place probably. Um, I would get at least two or three packages of them. And then if you have some of these red and white things, the uh, RCA cables, I would get a couple long ones of those. Uh, anything that has a ground that you can plug it into will work. However, let me, uh, I actually came up with a different solution if you cannot get all of these cords that, again, I'm not telling you to do. Um, I'm only showing you what I did because, again, I don't, you know, if your electronics mess up or anything, that's on you, not me. I'm just showing you what I got to work. Um, so this is for educational uh, purposes only. However, so say that that does not work for you, right? We unplug that, that goes right back up. Here is an alternate solution. So you'll notice that there's like a bunch of cords lying around it's because I was trying solutions for hours, no joke. Um, so what I did was I took a single uh, audio cord, right? And plugged it into the mic end of my old laptop. And so if you have an extra computer, regardless of what kind of computer it is, as long as it's grounded, it will work. Do you see this? So you actually got two solutions out of this video. So you can take one of these, just a regular audio cable, uh, auxiliary cable. They're like five bucks, bro. And you can plug it into your, you know, a laptop or I'm assuming that you could probably plug it into like a like a stereo or something as long as it's grounded so if it's grounded it'll cut that noise out um, and yes you know I can record without the power cord however my laptop battery is crap so even when I start recording if I get into a stream or something I don't have time to keep plugging it in and out um, so this solution works for me again this is my solution. I'm not necessarily telling you to do it, just showing you what I did that worked. And uh, yeah, so don't know if this works or if it, you know if anything will happen out of it. But there is my two solutions. Take them or leave them. That is it. Again, this is Gunslinger Dust, your favorite boy on Xbox, PC. Like, rate, subscribe, whatever, all that cool stuff on this this video, if you would. And uh, check out some of my video gaming videos, man. Catch you guys later.